My name is Frank Aquilina. My project is on the motion analysis of a basketball jump shot. The athlete I worked with was Nathan Carney, a varsity athlete on the South Tahoe High School basketball team. Nathan plays the power forward position, also known as the four. This influences the project because a power forward usually scores the ball closer to the basket than guards or a small forward would. The ideal shot for Nathan is going to be within 15 feet of the hoop. The heat map on the bottom right shows the shooting range of NBA power forward LaMarcus Aldridge. And you can kind of see where their ideal shooting spots are. The goal for this project is to improve consistency of Nathan's jump shot. And there's no one correct way to shoot a basketball, but certain mechanical elements are the foundation of almost every successful shooter. Legs. The legs provide most of the power in a jump shot. Legs are the base of the jump shot. If your shot lacks legs, you will probably have a flat shot with not much arc. When taking off your shot, your legs should be shoulder width apart. The elbow guides the straightness of, the, of your shot. If your elbow isn't straight, your hand will not be directly under the center of the ball, which can lead to side spin or the ball not going where you want it to. So for most players, it's important to keep elbows in an elbow angle at 90 degrees. I say for most players because players like Kevin Durant have made adjustments to get away with it. Hand. The ball should sit on your fingertips for more flick on the basketball, and it gives better rotation on the ball. Wrist should be lined up with elbow, guiding basketball to the hoop. Guide hand, which is your non-shooting hand, should stay straight, not influencing the flight of the ball. And the last touch is a wrist flick, projecting the ball at the basket. Nathan's shooting style is a two-piece shooting type. This is different from the one-piece shooting type, where you go straight into your shooting motion from your set position. The two-piece style involves a pause between your set and shooting motion. The pause allows Nathan to get more air time before his shooting motion, which allows Nathan to get his shot over bigger defenders. The two-piece shooting type is very common for players of his position. The steps we took in this project include video analysis, drills, form shooting, and a lot of repetition. The first session for Nathan, he shot 48% from the elbow, he made 50 out of 100 from the left elbow and 46 out of 100 from the right elbow. But in the video, you can see Nathan has mechanical issues that cause inconsistencies. These inconsistencies are caused by wayward elbow on shooting arm, knee valgus, and the ball on the palm of the hand instead of on the fingertips. When Nathan is building up force for his jump, his knees cave in towards each other. This puts added stress on the knee that can lead to injury, and from the mechanical point of view, his knee valgus is restricting his jump. For Nathan's elbows, I had him do a lot of one-hand shooting I started with having him lay down and go through the shooting motion with emphasis on 90 degree angle at the elbow, going straight with wrist snap, and when his fundamentals looked good, he did his one hand shooting at the basket. For adjustments, if you look at the two left photos, you can see the adjustments with straightening his knees for greater power on his shot. In the two right photos, you can see the improvement in elbow straightness, guide hand, and wrist snapping. Each week I had Nathan put up 100 shots and kept track of the shots made percentage. You can see how the adjustments affected that percentage. And you see the percentage dropping after changing mechanics in week two. The future for Nathan. As you saw in the last slide, Nathan's percentage decreased a good amount in the first week when we started changing his shot. It is normal for shooters to experience this downfall. 
Learning new mechanics takes a lot of time and repetition. As Nathan adjusts to some of his new mechanics, his shooting percentage will rise and his shot will become more consistent. Three weeks was not enough time for Nathan to make growth in his shooting percentage, but he did fix a lot of mechanics that will improve consistency in his future.